Well, it's the morning, and, um, you know, I know my hair's all crazy and disoriented. Um, I mean, to be honest, I'm pretty disoriented myself. And, yeah, I did want to share something that's very interesting um, that was honestly inspired from uh, this thing right here, the Bible. Um, you know, I, I, uh, I realized in life we really don't have control. As much as we have the illusion of having control, honestly, there's way too many factors and variables in life um, that clearly shows us, man, there's no way our results come from us ultimately. And, and we can try, we can do all these things um, that, you know, to, I mean, to be honest, I mean, I'm not saying don't take responsibility of your life at the same time. At the end of the day, you know, results come from God and God alone. If you're not a Christian, then this is probably pretty difficult for for you know, you to understand, um, and you probably want to turn this off. Anyway, I recently watched this movie called Mr. Nobody, and um, I don't know if I necessarily uh, recommend watching this movie per se. At the same time, you know, it, it, it does make you think quite a lot. So Mr. Nobody is all about this guy who has, um, you know, it shows him in uh, different lives, right, and different scenarios, um, and really, uh, the, the different scenarios are determined by very small, small little incidences and factors. Um, things that happen to him that, that, that have so many different, uh, so many different worlds that he ends up living, uh, in. And, you know, it's, it's interesting because, you know, to be honest, you know, right now, let's just say, um, let's just say yesterday, um, you know, I end up uh, going to a restaurant and I ended up eating a certain something where um, that food actually, you know, um, that was, you know, let's just say one of the ingredients were shipped from, from Africa. Let's just say there was a certain something, there was a little bug. Um, that ended up shipping over they cooked it you know I ended up consuming at the restaurant and it made me feel a little groggy in the morning right and um, I felt a little groggy so I took time off work I, I, I don't want to go to work on time um, and I end up uh, going to a, a, a rest like a breakfast place just to kind of recover and as I go to this breakfast place uh, you know, I end up meeting a, a, a girl over there. Um, let's just say it's the waitress. And then, you know, we get married and then we have uh, five kids. We name one of the kids Patrick and on and on and on. I live this whole life, right? See, that would have never happened if that part, that one little bug that was in that food from from Africa, um, you, know, what, you know, didn't get in there. Another scenario is let's just say I get in my car right now and as I'm driving on the freeway, uh, a, a rogue bird ends up coming and ends up hitting my windshield and I end up spinning out and, um, you know, I, I end up uh, 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 crashing and becoming paralyzed from the neck down. You think about this, right? Like all these different scenarios that could happen and you you really start to understand, wow. I don't have control of my life. And so, really, the only thing, I mean, uh, the, the point of me even saying this is, why, why be anxious? You know, why be anxious about life when you really have no control? There's too many variables, too many factors uh, that will determine your destiny. And so, um, really, and, and if you're not Christian, again, you know, my gosh, you must live a very... Um, uh, unfortunate life, um, but you know, for for, for Christians, um, you know, we believe that God is in control and and uh, that He uh, ultimately has our destiny. You know, many of our our, our plans of a man, um, and yet it's God who establishes our steps. Right? Um, there's just so many verses where where it just shows God is in control, and really, I mean, for anxiety, I mean, the only time anxiety should come is when you. Um, is when you make the wrong choices. What I mean by that is if you just every day, I mean, all you have to worry about is every day, if you just make the right choices, if you just obey God, for example, you know, which is, you know, loving God and loving his people. If you just follow the golden rule in every decision, then there's nothing to be anxious about because you can't control your um, results. Um, but if you, let's just say you deviate from, you know, the Bible or, or, or God's uh, commandments and 
um, you know, you do something unethical, that's when you should feel anxious. And that's probably because you're, you're a Christian and you're feeling that, you know, that, that the weight of that sin. And so as long as, you know, again, you just obey God, then you really, I mean, uh, and you have no control. I mean, you really shouldn't have that anxiety. And um, so, yeah, that's my thoughts for today. And I, I hope that encourages somebody. Have a good one.